Actually, I wish I could have told you everything when I was um, 12 years old or 9 years old or so. Like I said, there was one time when I was when we were captured. I'd usually go ahead and just, just assume that, um, just take the same idea or mentality as my people. Like I said, during the takedown of Germany, although, um, although like I say, well, that was when basically um, they were saying I was taken down or my whole forces were taken down. It's like, well, no, we were just taking down the German government. Anyway, though, it was a sticking point where I was captured. <laughs> I was captured, but I wasn't really captured. You know, my people were captured. Anyway, though, and getting my people out of the camps, like I say, or getting my people out of capture, being captured, like I say, and, and getting through the German council or whatever, getting through the Germans or whatever. And like I say, I still weighed in on that. Like I said, with, um, because I was multi, multi group, like, 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 I, like I had, I had Irish people working for me. I had Germans working for me. I'd work, I had, I had lots of people working for me. So anyway, and several times, like I say, uh, a lot of people, like, uh, like I say, even my mercenaries would be like, well, it looks like your guy is the guy on the floor over there. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, so it looks like we're working for you. And I was like, okay. Yeah. And they'd be like, and what would, what would your name be? Lucifer. <laughs> I'd be like, my name's Lucifer. Anyway, though, it's all complicated, and, and everything would have been fine if it wasn't for Rodney and Rosalie and a bunch of other people going, I'll be your eyes, your nose, your ears, and your mouth. And it's like, ugh. There's no way to run a government. Anyway, and also there's also other things like, like Lincoln's height rulership or whatever. Um, stuff like that. So anyway, a lot of people are like, blah, 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 blah. it's like, what? What do you want me to say? I'm your, I was your leader for, um, for 10,000 years or a million years, or basically the, the, tie, the guy at the top of the food chain, uh, the, 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 the person at the top. You know, when I wasn't, when people didn't know me as basically their actual and real creator, genetic creator, then uh, they knew me as a very, 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 very rich someone. Lucifer? I said, I wasn't pretending to be God. I wasn't playing to be God. I was God, creator. Anyway, and a bunch of people, blah, 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 blah. it's like, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to say? What? Um, that I'm not. I mean, do you want me to basically sugarcoat it? And like I said, it wasn't an easy thing either, because like I say, I had Germans in Germany. I had, I had Irishmen in, in, in Ireland. Like, 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 like I say, at one point in time, you couldn't throw a stone in Belfast and not hit a White Star Line employee. Like 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 ninety percent of the uh, of the people, or seventy five percent of the people. You know, I couldn't have a war. If someone died, if anyone died died, it was my employees died. So you know. So you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, everyone worked for me, and I cared about everyone. So. So you know, I mean, I couldn't. Anyway, that was the whole problem of World War One and World War Two. Is I is that they're just trying to kill me, just trying to remove me. And just trying to relegate me to obsolescence or, or whatever, you know, and or or, or or say that they had all the power or something like that. And between between God and me, or or I'll be your no your your nose your mouth and blah blah blah, you know you know and everything else, you know, you know it was a nightmare. Anyway, so but like like I said, I had mercenaries. I had I had I had actual like 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 real leaders, you know. I had a lot of people. And mostly, you know, it's just cleaning up things, uh, uh, stopping all the people that that, that, that that they were just running around killing people and hurting people. And realistically, it's mostly just housekeeping. Housekeeping. <laughs> that might be why they're like, ding dong, housekeeping. <laughs> you know, just, just, just cleaning up the people that were a problem. Mostly just cleaning up people that, 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 that would force their way on, on women or or hurt people or stuff like that, you know. Like I said, I had I had mercenaries. I had um, I had you know I had I had like my Belfastians. That's why like like I was always worried about my people being killed. And sometimes I'd be like, no, you can't do that. I have people in that town. You can't just go through and kill them. So my people, I have employees in that town. Be careful. And uh, <laughs> in my little childlike voice. So um, so like. like like I say, sometimes the mercenaries would, would, would be careful, you know, to try not to kill my people, my employees. So, because I had good people, you know, um, everywhere. So, so yeah, you know, like, 
like I say, Thomas O'Brien, I believe, um, and a few of these other people, like, <laughs> and like I say, the Renault family and, 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 and everything else, like the Renault family were helping me with, with something, and a few, a few of the other things, they were just, you know, like I say, they were just trying to, to solve the problems or fix the problems or whatever. And like I say, there, there there are a few people just running around, just trying to kill off the uh, off the owners of companies or off the off the heads of companies. And sometimes, like my people would go to these other countries that were starving or there, or there was war or something to try and fix it, to try and stabilize it. And like um, I don't know, you know, I mean, you know, there's a lot of times when when my when when, I, when I'd ask people to do things where people would do things, you know, for me and stuff. I mean, it's ten thousand years. It's it's a hundred thousand years. Uh, like I said, the, probably the Belfastians or, or, or some of the other people would be like, well, it's 10,000 years, you see, or 5,000 years, you see, that, that they've been around. It's like, actually, I've been around trillions, um, 99 trillion, actually, now that I know how far away that galaxy is. Like, like that, that, I put that galaxy 100, or I started that galaxy 100 trillion years apart or so, uh, or it was 100 year, trillion years apart, basically. And I was going to do a space clock, so... And we were saying like that. At least that was what we were doing back then. Like I said, it's been a long time. So, I mean, I forgot about it. <laughs> some, some people, I think, at some point in time came to me and said, why didn't you tell us about the galaxy coming towards us? And I was like, oh, I forgot about that. <clears throat> I did warn people. I was like, um, there's a galaxy coming towards you. It should be here, you know, in some amount of time. Like I said, that's why I, I, was, I was pushing everyone to, to build t space telescopes and get a space tele telescope out in orbit is because um, I knew about it, and um, and and that's another thing. Rodney was like, <laughs> and I was like, Rodney, there's nothing you can do about it. It's coming. They're coming. It's going to be here, regardless. You can say you don't believe in it. You can, you can pretend like it's not coming. You can go <laughs> all you want. It's not going to stop the galaxy. It's coming towards us. It's going to be here. And some amount of time. I forget how long it was. I think it was like a million years away or a billion years away at the time or something like that. I was like, I was like, you can flap your lips all you want. It doesn't matter. It's going to be here. I built it. I built this one. You can say I'm bluffing. You can say that, that it's not real. You can pretend that's a lie. You can blah, blah, blah all you want. It's not going to change the fact that there is... Yeah, I, got, I, was, I was a builder of galaxies and planets and stars and suns, and it's coming. They're coming. So, and they probably know me. So anyway, yeah. <clears throat> because quite a few times, like, Rodney was like, <laughs> and, uh, and like, screaming in my face, you're not going to win, you're not going to win. And it's like, whatever. I'm too old for this shit. I don't really care. You know, I'm Lucifer Star. Get over it. You're not Lucifer Star. You can't be my nose. You can't be my eyes. You can't be my whatever. Like I said, I think you just want to be my dick, actually. But I mean, um, I'm the great leader, blah, blah, blah. And there's nothing you can do about that. I was, I am, I have to be. You cannot be. You never were. Get over it. Because like I said, Rodney was trying to say that he was the great whatever and that I learned everything from him. It's like, Rodney, I didn't learn shit from you. Like, I was in existence long, long before Rodney. Technically, I was probably in existence before, before Thomas O'Brien, but like I say, I liked Thomas, I believe. He was a good man. I liked a lot of my Irishmen, a lot of my Scotsmen, a lot of my British people, and a lot of my, a lot of my Irish people. Like, they were my people. They built my cities. They, they, built my, they worked in my mines. They, they worked on my cables. I liked the Russians, too. I liked a lot of the people. I love my people. And other people be like, he loves his people. Get over it. He's like, yes, I love my people. Like, like for, for better or worse, for, for, for richer or poorer, for drunker, drunk or not drunk, basically, those Irishmen were my, were, were, were my people. You know, I mean, even if they were mistaken, even if, even if they were confused, even if they made a mistake, you know, like I said, sometimes people would shoot people or kill people by accident, and it's like it's a mistake, you know. Um, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, drunken brawls and all that other stuff, and that's why it, 
that, that there was a lesser sentence, I believe, for, for, for someone who, who got in a fight or killed someone when they're drunk. But, you know, they kind of stopped that because, like, and that was probably mostly because of my Irishman or whatever. Like I said, you know, Irishmen, they, they have a quick temper. Some of my people, they had a quick temper and all that other stuff. And, and that doesn't mean they're not good people. It's just that, you know, and they're always sorry about it afterwards. You know, later on, you know, and, and, and sometimes some of my people actually ended up hanging themselves or killing themselves because they were, because they felt so bad. You know, and it's like, you know, it's just a bad thing. So you just got to get over it, you know, and, and just, um, you know, I mean, one night and, you know, you do something stupid or you think something stupid and then the next thing you know, your best friend's dead or or someone you, or someone's dead. You know, it's like, I mean, it was a pro it was like, I blame myself because I invented the damn guns in the first place. Like, like I mean, I was the one who paid for them to be built and stuff like that so it was my fault really realistically I took the blame for that but I mean somebody would have probably done it in any way you know there's enough people that are trying to conquer or do whatever and it's like well somebody would have done it anyway so might as well have been me um I mean there's a lot of things that Rodney and and Rosalie and and a lot of other people are it's like look you just have to accept the fact I don't care about it, and it's 100 trillion years ago, or 15 trillion years ago that I was, and it's like, you know, doing all this little blah, 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 blah stuff is, or, or just thinking you can just walk into a record r r recording studio and basically own the place, and it's like, um, they worked for me. You know, so like when the black people walked in to, ran, went into that recording studio and basically just shot everyone and basically like, okay, we own the place. It's like... That was my recording studio that you walked in and shot everyone at. So, you know, they were just working for me. So, like I say, you know, I mean, a lot of people, you know, in the end are like, you know, it's like, well... You know, and uh, there's other people that knew that was my recording studio and weren't too happy about it. Anyway, whatever. You know, it's like, whatever, it's just a recording studio. And they didn't really have all that much money anyway. That's another thing. You find out, well, they actually didn't have a lot of money. Or blah, blah. You know, it's just like, um... Anyway, the black people thought they could just, like, shoot up the place and basically take over everything. And it's like, well... There's the Irish people, there's the British, there's the Scottish, there's the... You know, it's like, you're not alone. Did you think you were just alone? You know? So. Anyway. You know, I miss the gypsies. I really do. They had a lot more uh, of, a, of, a, of a good attitude about it. It's really annoying with, you know, like I say, Nixon or Jimmy Carter or JFK or some American president was trying to pretend like he was like, oh, it's like, uh, no. Not hardly. It's like, I almost wish I was already dead because it's like, you know what, I don't really care. You know, all these people that were just, it's like, wow. Whatever. <clears throat> anyway, though, so, whatever. Now at least you know, can know the truth, basically. It's like, well, you know, most roads led back to me. So, and like I say, I don't really care. It's like, well, you know, I was doing a job. I'm, yeah. I did it a long time ago. It's over. Um, and no, you're not alone. So, there are thousands upon millions upon billions of life forms in the universe. And humans only make up about a third of them. Or something like that. Maybe a little more, more closer to half. I don't know. So, there's a lot of life forms out there. So anyway, like, eh, you know, it's about 100 trillion years, what do you expect? <laughs>